I know how to work my audio. I'm not stupid. I'm never fucking be stupid, mate. Hello there, I'm the Abyssal Drink, and this is another rigged video. Oh no. And, uh, looking at, um, some previous, uh, footage that I've done, um, you'll never see the light. It'll never see the light of day for anyone else that wasn't in that game. Um, because it was absolute shit show, and there's nothing to learn from it. All I will say is... I am not good at jungle. End of story. Anyway, let's get into this game of uh, Volibear versus a Kenan Top. And apparently, we have a Yasuo Smurf going up against Lux. Uh, this game is a pretty entertaining one from uh, just a team play perspective. Um, that's all I can say about it. Now nah, we're fine. Now nah, we're fine. We'll be totally fine. One thing that I um definitely know is uh, Huge in the I don't future. really care about um we'll Smurfs. I don't we'll care play. about how high we someone's mastery is. Right now. Um, mastery kind of just means nothing. Say it. For the most Same. part, it, all it says is you know you play X champion right a lot, and, just miss and yes, you know. sometimes it it just it's meaningless, you know. The only thing that matters is how you play in that game and that game alone. So Volibear, do Volibear things and push lane, just constantly push lane, endlessly, never stop. Throwing out my E because I am against the cannon, and so I'm probably bound to be maxing my E first. Shove your ass under tower. There's a little bit there. So since I can shove pretty quickly, pretty, and I, put um, I can right deep here. ward very easily. Uh -huh. Oh, and Hi. there's the heck room right there. Hi. I'm fine. Please leave me alone. Mate, could you stop, please? And thank you. Please stop. Stop, stop it. Alone. Go away. Thank oh, you. We're done here. We're done. We're done here. That was a weird confrontation. Uh, apparently Hecarim was doing his uh, crugs. And so... He was going to look for a gank top, but I went toward his uh, red. So that happens. So I get, I lose nothing out of it. Uh, well, I lose a few minutes of experience. Um, Kennen didn't shove the wave. So it's pretty good for me, and I will be wow. relatively fine. Um, Kennen's being very rude to me. Very rude. Polar Bear is a rather strong um, champion early. He could half health you out of nowhere, mm -hmm. and you have to be rather careful. Uh, example? Ah, fuck. Not here. I am dead. Almost. I just need like one second. One itty bitty like second. second. I would have been fine. One itty bitty second, Whatever. and that's all. So, you know, it kind of is what it is. Um, really, it was just kind of being super aggressive and um, me not Wait, responding man. to the aggression. Uh, if it's more of an even matchup okay. where I, where we both start fighting at the same time or we both just have the same HP, I pretty much win that. I had no HP and I still managed to bring the cat in down super hard. Ow. So, big thing with the E, just, you have to and really predict where the right enemy is going to be. Don't block this right here. Because when, you have to predict not 
you have to predict how they're going to dodge it. Um, because they're going to see you cast it, and they're going to think, oh, I need to dodge or be prepared. So you're pretty much just throwing it over there. And the only time that you're really ever going to not try to predict it is, you know, when you're actually just running them down. Like that. Bitch, please. It's a rather easy thing to do. Bitch, please. It's, it's not hard. Volibear is very, very simple. Um, now, what am I doing? Why did I just grab two amp tones? Okay. You probably already know why if you've seen Volibear before. Um, sometimes Maybe Volibear has the like little, there's a little oddity with uh, Volibear's passive where Try it's again. not considered AoE. And that's very, very important to understand. Because it's not considered AoE, that means it will be single target healing with Gunblade. Essentially, you push wave. As soon as you get your passive stacks up, you push wave and you just heal okay. to full HP Is this easily. You want to do now? And the additional AP will also give you some damage um, in lane with both your E and the passive itself. And a little bit of damage for your ultimate. Um, here, I can't really do anything. Um, so, best I can do is just make sure I keep shoving as much as possible. Um, make it hard for the cannon to do anything. And definitely respect potential roams, because we are absolutely trying to make sure that we play, so play yeah, safe. Uh, okay. Although right Yasuo is just scuttle. taking scuttles, but scuttle. uh, that means Graves can take the dragon in the meantime. And there is Hecarim as well. So since we know where the jungler is, we know where mid laner is, dragon is even all the more safer. And I can even step up a little bit more. I'm fine. And indeed I am fine. Because Volibear reset works, you know, it just works. <laughs> uh, Volibear Whenever he gets displaced while using displaced or stunned. Um, basically, if he ever gets interrupted while using his Q, it resets. So, I was kind of banking on it. Kennen is really low, and so am I, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal for me. Because again, Volibear, he hits really hard. Rather hard. Rather hard. I'm repeating myself now. Why am I repeating myself? I don't know. I'm not tired. Yet. Um. Gonna back now? Should I back though? I can. Lux is getting dove. And it happens quite often. I believe it's supposed to be because the Hecarim is also a duo with the Yasuo. But it's pretty much fine. Um, Lux is only about two waves down in CS. Um, it's not the end of the world yet. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Yet. <laughs> Don't yet me. <laughs> right. Um. So with the uh, Lux managing to play as safe as she is, needing to get dove in order to get killed, um, 
things are looking rather up for us. Things are looking rather up. And I just get to do kind of whatever I want. Now, Kenan is going to constantly harass me over and over again. Because Kenan's just an annoying little shit. Which is exactly why I want the Gunblade. Because I... Because this keeps happening. I would rather... I want... I just want the Gunblade. Um, normally, when I take... Press the attack on Volibear. I'm going to go... Uh, Trinity Force as my first item. Um, it just deals a lot of damage, but that's more so if I'm going into a melee matchup. Um, since this is a ranged matchup, um, Gunblade just will help out quite a bit. Um, why not just go straight in? And there are th just 10 million people here. Okay. Jeez. They they yeah. really fucking want some kills onto the Yasuo. Which is just just insane. Just the amount of shit we're dealing with here. But it's a kill for Lux. Uh, I had to blow my flash, but it's fine. As long as I get to escape, everything is a okay. Kenan is being super annoying, and I'm not sure how Kenan is able to auto so fast. But I'm staying relatively even in farm, so it's pretty much fine. The only thing, the only way this is ever an issue is if. I'm like very way behind. If I'm behind, then yeah, it's an issue, but not really. Not in this instance. Yeah, I get harassed. Whatever. Oh, I need this item badly. And I really do, because. The the reasoning the reasoning behind it like why not just get like a tank item like why not get bramble vest or go for a um fuck what's it called it's the magic resist item adaptive helm well Kenan just deals is just dealing a lot of mixed damage and that's yep. why it's really difficult nope, to do away. anything about away. it. It just becomes way too difficult to really optimize against Kennen in a way that's that. useful. So instead of trying to be, you know, um, instead of trying to uh, out sustain not I'll sustain. Instead of trying to withstand what the um, cannon is doing by um, tank stats, rather go a little bit more aggressive with uh, some damage stats. A kill for the Lux because again, the they're just really greedy for her. Which is good for us, um, and is a it really shows um, the uh, skill coming out of um, Lux. So I'm just gonna go straight all in. Why not? Mm. And here's the power of Bola Bear. Just fucking retarded levels of damage. And I missed the cannon. Fucking rat, get off my fucking lawn. It's not a Pekin Wolf Shit. video if you don't miss a cannon. So that's nice. That means that's a gunblade. 
That means healing. That means I can actually and now survive while killing the wave. Fuck ever again. I do give some fucks, but I don't give a fuck as much and now. I get that too. Eh, why not? Yas has a lot of farm, but he's cocky, motherfucker. Now, one thing that I've said before in videos is, you know, farm is very important, sometimes even more important than uh, kills. Um, there's a little bit of a caveat. Really, you have to be, like, you have to be working with your team as well. Um, you could have all the farm in the world it won't matter if your team is just bringing you down completely. Because uh, I just finished off a ranked session of mine um, and uh, had a pretty good Zoe game against the Yasuo, who was farming like a madman against me, but it didn't really matter when it came to the team play. My concentration is just so intense. You could this. be an absolute god at um, farming, but it doesn't matter if you can't, I mean, I'm you know, there. play the team game. I know where Hecarim is. That's what I was referring to. I always know where Volibear is, of course. So, uh, ah. missing everything. Yep, I'm bad. Uh, See. I'm also very unwilling to spend mana. Very unwilling. As I spend mana. <laughs> um. Da -da 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 -da. Clear the back wave and God don't damn. get the melee. Got back now. It's a good time to back. Mm. Um, nothing really to be got. Uh, I mean. Doing, but no, whatever suits your boat, dude. Yeah, I don't really think it's even remotely sure necessary. If I don't TP in, then the Hecarim is going to flank around. Um, unfortunate. Ass. I don't want to flash over the wall. I'd rather just run at him, see what I can get there. And we get nothing out of it, that's but that's flash. fine. We will take that. Well, it's a flash. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, there's also some oh, Rift Herald awesome. damage. He's, he's ghost. He's ghost. He's ghost. And I pulled away the cannon, so no cannon for Lux. And Tower is Ow. mad. Ow. Very mad. Um, but now it's time for a dragon. This should be an easy dragon to take. Should be being the operative word. Just gonna chill here. Not really gonna do anything that useful. Yep. Nothing yep. to be done there. Yeah, we just leave. Cannon is. At all. So from here, the um, the way the game pretty much should Let's be working see. is I can stay in a lane against the cannon and just continuously um, push that out, push out against the cannon. How do you defeat a Yasuo that's smurfing hard? Just play well. Yeah, just play well. Don't over push for any reason. Like she, like she needs to retreat completely. Like, yep. Don't let yourself. Ash doing well. right. And everything's fine. It's just um. I'm here to push. Really, just kind of waiting for opportunities like. Uh, Dragons and whatnot. I hear I'm gonna die because okay. they're just 
completely ulting me. They using every fucking trick in the book they against were that me. Scared of me. Okay. I get it. Fuck. Since they uh, took ever used everything against me, I'm not really uh, worried about Graves not getting a they kill. Were just so scared. I don't get an assist, unfortunately, but that's a double kill. They for were Graves. so scared. They were so scared of me. Yeah, it is a matter of playing it slow. It's uh, pushing out waves, playing for dragons, just working together as a team. Yeah, this is hard for me. Trying not to die for nothing. For the mo for um, the most part. There's an Ash ult onto a Caitlyn, okay. and Caitlyn is dead. Good. That is also a tower. Now it should be um, kind of no wonder what, uh, you know, Ocean will do for us. I mean, it, it's Ocean. It's going to be, it's always a good thing to have. With team in mid lane pushing rather well, um, especially because they're so much farther up than uh, me, it careful. lets me just take this tower. I'm not exactly sure why it's a bad fight. It's just a bad fight in general. And it's most likely because uh, yeah, they're in a four v five situation. They take tower, and I'm still without TP and pushing in bot tower. Neat. Very neat. So, it's kind of a... I accidentally step on this. I don't mean... I didn't mean to... Fuck me. I was not expecting to take that much damage. I was not expecting it. <laughs> That's definitely me overstepping, but for the most part, uh, it's fine. Nothing to do about the top. Uh, that's not a good. That is not a good at all. You don't want to be doing that. Grace has to run away. He's getting chased. That's Ooh, a lovely Ash ult. Protecting the graves. Uh, but he still dies. Still a good Ash ult. Um, what? I don't want to be TPing oh, into that. Fine. Like, really. <sighs> what? TPing now. I mean, the thing is, like, there was nothing. Like, I had no way to get into the fight, and he was already so deep. So, what? What am I? Hmm? Like, he was deep oh, into. Uh, that hurt their jungle and I have no way to actually um oh I was not gonna be able help. to fight that no matter what. Go farm to end, don't do anything. And I'm muting graves. Yeah. He's just going to start stressing me out now. Yeah, I don't, but fuck, man. 
I seem to have to a lot of issues with junglers thinking that I'm supposed to be following up on every little thing that they're doing and that they are always in the right situation. Like sometimes that like it just isn't what it is. Like well, I'm not going to follow you up into there because you're way too far up. And there's a dragon soon. So, like, once that minute mark hits, you shouldn't be overstepping your bounds and getting mad at me because of your, you know, because you are pushed too far in deep. That's it's kind of on you, not on me. Here's just another Ashult, which is nice. Force the uh, cannon to flash away. I'm just making sure that uh, I can kind of protect uh, one of our flanks. Going in, because I'm not afraid. Dodge the ass. Bye. Flash away. <laughs> Uh, basically just doing my job to zone, and that's about it. That's all I kind of uh, need to do. My contribution. Sometimes, uh, it's all about the assist that you don't see. It's all about the assist that you don't see. There comes the Hecarim. Now here we're kind of a little bit too deep now down to too deep for no reason and we should just back out. Ah, uh, yeah, we can't force anymore. And so now we're just going to end up getting chased and chased and chased. And, uh, this is never a good situation. You really don't want to be in these types of positions where you need to retreat. Um, but you calm down about yourself. Oh yeah, I can defend this. Where it's you need to, uh, retreat but you do it so late that the enemy has time to chase you down and they have um, full HP. They had a chance to get some items. Here's an easy kill onto a Yasuo that fails his flash. Cannon ults, just back away from it. There's no point in taking the damage. Like I'm not gonna get anything out of it. There's also no way for me to do anything here. So might as well just kind of threaten some kind of threaten kind of pressure in a way it's just setting up a little bit of dominance don't want the, the enemy team gaining too big of a foothold yeah no I don't think we can do this I don't want we can we need Ash to do it we need Ash and their team is still alive uh, for the most part it's not worth it in any capacity just playing for dragon is the most safest thing for us to do because if we play for dragon the worst that happens is they get a we lose the fight and they get another uh, ocean but uh, it'll be soul point, but it won't be soul itself. And they still have two tower, two uh, tur outer turrets that they have to uh, get through to do anything. Meanwhile, we have an entire inhibitor down on them, and only one remaining inner turret. So for us, it's a lot more. Um, it's more crucial for them to win than it is for us to win in the sense of you know, progress of the game so we get it and um, just pretty important just to 
try and go in, but, for me, but I get killed by the Asobo. And Graves gets to just do Graves things. And team gets uh, to body them completely. Like I fucking care about a goddamn Smurf. And then there's the enemy Fuck surrender. Smurfs. Fuck Smurfs indeed. Uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you have, hope you have nah, a good day. And uh, goodbye. Smurf up in here. We don't give a fuck. Fuck your Smurfs, bitch.